Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel once again. Today we are in Wrocław, a beautiful city and we are on a food tour. We're trying to look for different places where we can eat great Polish food here in Wrocław and maybe some snacks on the street. So let's go. Okay, and our first stop is the Bar Mleczny Mis, but unfortunately this place is attending a buffet right now. So we're not going to be able to eat here. So we're going to go to the other. We're in the Bar Mleczny, Jacek i Agatka. Okay, if you want to try Polish food, which is cheap, you have to go to this Bar Mleczny. We paid 26 lotis, which is the equivalent to 6, 7 euro. And we have three glasses of kompot. That's a very traditional Polish drink. And we're going to have two portions of naleśniki or pancakes, crepes, that for this amount of money, it's a no brainer. These that I ordered are filled with uh, apple and this is cream that you can put on top and mm, really good the apple with cinnamon tasty they're not freshly made because <laughs> I mean we order and they were ready like in a minute so they're not freshly made but I was super hungry and I they're so nice I mean for the price and I think that if you're traveling on a budget you're going to find this place to be exactly for you and anyways, I still recommend you to try any bar mleczny that you find because you're going to find very traditional Polish food for a price. And you cannot say no. It's, as I said earlier, a no-brainer. And I just want to say that this bar mleczny looks actually modern. So what is a bar mleczny? It comes from the communism and it's a Polish traditional cafeteria that used to be subsidized by the government in order to be able to offer traditional Polish food at a low cost. Something interesting is that it's a bar mleczny which translates to milk bar. And it's not that you're literally going to be like the puss in boots that you're taking a shot of milk on the bar. And this comes from the cheese cutlets where it's were usually sold when there was no meat. So that's the reason why this is called a bar mleczny. And I just ate a cinnamon roll in this Pekarna Puri Gruzinska, that's the name of it. And I'm gonna show you right now some scenes in which I'm eating it. Uh, but I realized that I had the microphone inside my bag, so it, the, the audio quality is not really good. Uh, it's great. I mean, it costs 13 slotis, which is the equivalent of three and a half euro. I, I just want to say that, in my opinion, it was falling apart too easily. I think it was very sweet for me. You know that I have a, like a sweet limit that I can reach easily. Actually, one of my favorite cinnamon rolls, it's funny, it's from Ikea. Let me know in the comments if you have tried them. And if you have, let me know if you also think like me that they are the best because they are not as sweet as others. So, Jose, where are you gonna eat? Uh, we're eating in Pizza Topia, and you're wondering, Jose, where are you gonna eat pizza again? First, it's our tradition. I want to tell you that it's a great option if you're traveling on a budget because you're going to pay only uh, 36 lotis, which is equivalent to 8 or 9 euro, and that way you're going to have an entire pizza in which you're going to have uh, the ingredients that you want. You can grab all the cheese, all the meats, all the vegetables that you want, and you're going to be able to get that for the same amount of money. So if you're traveling on a budget, you're going to find this as a very nice option. Uh, and you can also add different sauces. You can add, I don't know, barbecue, olive, mayo, whatever you want, you can add to this pizza and it looks very, very nice. Really hot, but fantastic. Delicious, I love pizza. Let me know in the comments if you do too. Okay, so we are in, uh, this place is called Przed Wojna, which means pre-war. So it's a place that uh, resembles how the restaurants or the bars used to be before the war. As you can see, it's got this old, it's like a bar because you have to go and you have to pick your stuff and take it to the table. I'm going to show you in a moment what is that I have ordered. We're going to start with the Tatar. What is Tatar? As you can see here, is raw meat. There you can have also onion, pickles, and mushrooms. And there is a neck yolk there. 
you have butter so you can spread it on the bread you add olive salt and pepper and then you mix it you know not everyone likes eating raw meat so this is a thing that you have to be it's not for everyone i know but it's very traditional in poland um, i'm not really sure if a lot of people eat it or not please let me know in the comments if you're from poland if you like eating it or not mm, mm. it's very nice maybe the meat is different because the one that we usually eat we buy it in in Lidl or in Biedronka, so maybe the meat has been there for some days, I don't know, but this one feels super fresh, I, you have to try it, it's super nice. I would say that it is very traditional, although red meat in Poland, people don't eat a lot of red meat and um, I don't know, not only they don't eat a lot of red meat, but then raw, I guess it's not for everyone. Uh, now we have this second thing which is called sag Zagri something, I'm not really sure exactly what's the name of this but This is basically a snack for when people are drinking vodka <laughs> mm. mm -mm. These are the ones from the supermarket uh, Ola was telling me that these are conservova, not Kishane and actually I like Kishane more I don't know exactly what's the difference between them they just taste differently. I, I, you, you would have to taste them to know what the difference is. Okay, and now I'm going for the mushrooms. Mm. Mm. They're okay. I mean, I would recommend you to take this if you're gonna be drinking vodka with your friends. But just like that, maybe not exactly. Uh, Tatar for sure. So I strongly recommend Przedbojenna if you want to go for some really fresh Tatar or if you also want to grab some vodka or beers with your friends. It's a really good place and you're going to see that the vibe, the environment, it's really, really nice and different. Even outside of this uh, restaurant bar, you can see two gnomes pouring a shot of vodka. If you want to know more about the history of the gnomes, you can go to this video where I try to find 100 gnomes in three hours. Please go and watch. So right now what I'm going to eat is this, what is called Rurka Svitom Smetanom. Basically this is like a Rurka, I think it's like a tube or a stick, uh, stuffed with wiped cream. Five slotties for this, the equivalent of one euro, 20 cents, something like that, so. Mm. Fresh. I've eaten this in other parts of the country, but it's like the, the cream was not really fresh. This one is it's good. It's not, yeah, really, it's not sweet at all, so really good. And yeah, this is located just in the market square. And as you can see there in the background, eating one of these with a beautiful view. Mm -hmm. Really good. I recommend it. I don't know if everywhere is going to taste the same, but at least in this place that's going to have this jopla on top, you know that you're going to find a good one with fresh white cream. So let's continue. Atoramen. This is located in the old town and honestly it looks really nice uh, and they put just half an egg so uh, we're going to see about the flavor. Uh, it looks big though. It tastes well. I think combining everything is gonna be much better. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy eating ramen as much as I do. I want to give an update and half the way I want to tell you that it's fantastic. It's so good. The combination of everything because it's got some grilled meat and uh, the, the, the mushrooms, they, they taste amazingly. These tiny white mushrooms are just amazing. And yeah, the combination of everything is fantastic. So I recommend you Hato Ramen if you're in Wrocław. Okay, so we ordered one of these chimney rolls. Uh, it's just made of cinnamon. The one that I ordered is just cinnamon because you have other options with Nutella, with coconut, with strawberry, with a lot of things, uh, peanut butter. But I think my level of sweetness already reached a limit today. So that's the reason why I'm going to be eating just this one, the, the, the classic one. It costs 12 slotties, which means that it's three euro, but it can go up to 19 or 20 slotties. So it can be uh, up to five euro. They are popular not only in, in Wrocław, I think in the whole country, but I've seen that this one specifically, uh, a lot of people 
by there and uh, the queue we, we had to wait just like three four minutes not a long time but i heard that someone had to wait even 10 minutes so we're going to try mm, sweet and slightly just slightly mm -hmm. and it's warm you know for me this tastes much better than the cinnamon roll because it was way too sweet for me it depends on your level of sweetness because if you if you have a high tolerance i think the cinnamon roll is gonna be better for you if you don't have a high tolerance this is gonna be much better and I want to explain about why it's called chimney roll or chimney cake. It's because it goes like that on a spiral. So that's the reason why it's called this way. And there is also a gnome on the entrance. Of course, the gnome is eating the chimney roll. Strongly recommend it. And the video of today is gonna end here. I really appreciate for watching. If you stayed until the end, make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe. And I'll see you on the next adventure. Probably on the next adventure, we're going to be in Istanbul. So make sure you hit the subscribe button because that way you're not gonna miss the following videos. And greetings from someone who ate a lot today and the belly, it's growing and it continues to grow. I'll see you on the next adventure.